This is the card I'll be showing you how to make today. It's called a book card and it actually kind of is like a book and it folds out and has all these really cute um, pages in it. And it's just a really fun, cute, interactive card. Um, but another fun thing is it's actually using one of the new um, stamp sets from the 2022-2023 annual catalog. Um, this stamp set bundle is called a cup of tea along with the teacup dies. Very cute. It's got some adorable DSP. Um, this is the tea bouquet. 6x6 DSP. It's got some absolutely gorgeous prints in it, which you will love. But we will get started and I'll show you how to make this card. So I'm going to start with um, showing you how to make the individual little pages. And then I'll go back and um, show you how to put together the base and then we'll assemble the uh, entire card. So I'll set this aside here. Um, first we'll start with this page here. Um, so, I will start with the um, Orchid Oasis. This is one of the new in colors. Um, grab your foam um, pad here, stamp and pierce mat, and um, your white craft ink. And I mentioned, I've actually done a little video tutorial. It's called Stampin' Up! Craft White Inks Tips and Trick Video. Um, that kind of shows a few little do's and don'ts with your um, white craft ink. So go back and watch that video. Um, but I'm going to take this um, teacup stamp here. And you'll basically just barely walk this across. You want to pick up as much ink without um, squishing it off. So do not stamp or press hard in the ink pad. And then you'll stamp lightly. And once you have that image, take some uh, white embossing powder here and we'll cover that. Give it a little flick there. Um, and then use your uh, heat tool here and you'll use and you'll heat that. And then when you finish, you should end up with a really nice teacup that has a really nice vibrant image there. Um, and we will be die cutting that. And once you die cut that, then you should end up with this really pretty teacup with, with a gorgeous design there. So I'll put up my craft white. So that's the first thing. Um, and then grab a whisper white piece of cardstock and we will be stamping the greenery and um, the little flowers. So I'm taking garden green ink here and we'll stamp this little garden greenery bunch here. Like that. And then we will take the fresh freesia here. And then there's this string of little flowers and go ahead and ink that up like so. And then also take your Orchid Oasis and we're going to stamp the little tea bag here. So we actually have this little cute tea bag. Ink that up and we will stamp it right there. And then you'll um, stamp this It's Tea it's time for tea um, and we'll ink that up in the Orchid Oasis also and stamp that inside the little tea bag outline there. So then we can close up our ink pads and the wonderful thing is there's dies for all of these so we can just lay our dies on top like so. Um, and then another thing that's really helpful with these smaller dies is I have some of the post-it um, tape. And so you can literally just tear off a little piece. And once you line up your dies as you desire, just put a little piece of tape on that. And that does very well for running the dies through the die machine. So set that aside, or actually run that through the die cutting machine. Um, and then you will end up with all your little pieces here. 
Um, so, and then one more thing we're going to die cut. Um, so this piece here is, let me, is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. I forgot to measure before, but it's two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And we're going to be using the um, stitched um, with whimsy dies. Um, but they're super cute, fun little um, whimsical looking dies here. First, we're going to use the um, detailed trio punch and we're going to use the corner rounder here. So just go around and corner all of your corners here. Super easy. Oops. And then this is cut to size because this die will only just make imprints. So, but it adds a nice little design. So run this through your die cutting machine and then this is what will you'll end up with at the end. So super cute. All right, now we're gonna kind of put together our little teacup here. So grab some glue and we are going to put some glue on the back of our teacup here like so and I kind of forgot to mention but there's the new in color um, Baker's twine pack um, it comes in all the new in colors and so I grabbed some of the orchid oasis um, a little strip of Baker's twine and you're going to put glue on the back and then I just put it up in this right hand corner kind of coming out and you can oops stick it in the glue there so it kind of um, adheres and then have it coming out a little bit off to the right side of the tea there teacup and then we're just going to put this right down like that so that this is coming out like that and then for the grass here I put a small layer of line of glue here and then put some dimensionals on the top part of the uh, I don't know that's showing up in the camera the top part here of the branches and then I will just kind of stick this behind the teacup like so and stick it right in there um, you'll want to make sure that your string is on the front side though but it should just slide right in there nicely. Um, and then you can add your little flowers. I have dimensionals on these, so um, you can either glue them or use dimensionals, whichever you prefer. There we go. And then, last but not least, grab a um, regular size dimensional here. And um, we are going to put our twine on the back of the tea bag and then use the dimensional to hold it in place like so. Take your dimensional off and then you can kind of bend and put your tea bag how you desire, how you want it to lay there. Um, if you do need to tack this down, literally you can put a little dot of Tombow and hold that down like so. So there is that. Um, and then I took a four by four inch piece of the DSP, um, the T bouquet um, that matches the stamp set. And we're just gonna add some dimensionals and pop that right on there. So that is done. One thing that you could do is, I know I'm known kind of for this, of liking Winkastella. You could add some Winkastella to your flowers there or some rhinestones or whatever you would like just to kind of jazz it up. But there's our first little um, front, card front. The next one will be this one right here. So I've taken... Um, so another piece of 4x4 um, DSP from the T-Bouquet. 
um, and I've stamped Let's Get Together Soon. Um, I've used the same technique kind of as I did with the teacup and embossed it in white. Also, go check out the video. There's some really important tips um, just to get it to come out nice and white and solid because I know that's a struggle. Um, but you'll ink that up in the craft white and emboss in white embossing powder like I did um, on the teacup. Um, use the um, trio, uh, detailed trio punch to get your corner rounds. Like so. So that's that. Um, and then I've used um, the um, Ranculus uh, dies here to get this um, die and this swirl or flower um, here. So it actually, you'll actually need to do it in two different, um, there's actually two different dies here. Um, so you can tell, but I've already used the uh, post-it tape here to hold it in place. But you'll run this through um, Whisper White cardstock. And when it comes through, it'll end up like this. So all you'll do is just glue that down. Another nice tip so that you don't have glue everywhere is if you want to use a Q-tip um, to get a little bit of Tombow on um, the edge of the tip of the um, Q-tip. And then that will help you not get glue everywhere and um, control some of the glue coming out and it'll be easier to get it all over this floral swirl here. Um, so after you've glued that, um, I have taken some of the DSP with the teacups and just used a pair of scissors and chose a few and cut them out. Um, so I'm switching it up a little bit. I had a red pot in this one but I've decided to do a few different colors. But all you'll do is just take some dimensionals and kind of act like you're pouring some cups of tea for your friends. Um, oops, I can't get a hold of them. Um, it might be easier also to use the mini dimensionals for these teacups. Alrighty, and there's that. The only other thing I did was you can add a little Wink of Stella to your teacups and to your teapot just for an extra little shimmer. Um, that's always nice, a nice little touch there. But that is it for that little um, card or section of this book card. The next one is this one right here. Um, it's super simple, but very, very pretty. Um, this is another um, four by four inch piece of the DSP. Um, it's using this ribbon's the Fresh Freesia um, in the open weave ribbon. Um, but I just kind of tied a really loose bow here. Nothing perfect, nothing crazy. Um, but then I'll also stick it in the uh, detailed trio punch for the um, corner rounding here. Like so. Well, and I'll slide my ribbon appropriately. Let's see here. Okay, so all I've done is taken a four by four inch piece of DSP, rounded the corners, and tied a little bow of the Fresh Freesia open weave there. Um, and then also I've taken, and I forgot to measure this, but I will for you guys, um, two and three fourths by one and a half inch piece of Fresh Freesia. And I'm also going to uh, corner around that for this piece. Like so. Um, and then I'm also going to use the Stitched with Whimsy um, dies again. This one's more of a rectangle. But we can run that through the die cutting machine. 
Um, and then when you get done with that, this is what it'll look like. Um, but I've used this stamp, Take Care of Yourself, and I stamped it in the Orchid Oasis, um, like so. And then you can add some dimensionals to the back of that. And we'll add that to kind of put that just under the ribbon and kind of center it. And my ribbon, my bow is a little crooked. There we go. Um, and then I also um, just used a pair of scissors and cut out one of the teapots here. Um, and you can do whichever one you want and you can switch it up to. They're both um, different directionals, or the spout is different directions. So this one's the opposite too. So just you can put it, actually, I think I'm going to put this one on this side and then switch the bow off to this side. So you can adjust whichever the spout um, is pointing. Um, but then I like to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to the teapot here just for a little extra sparkle. Um, but there is that card little insert. And then the next one would be this one right here. I love this one because it's got this little vellum detail on it. So I'll show you all about that. Um, so in the dies, there's this um, die right here. So you'll die cut that in vellum. And you'll have that here. And then also I have stamped in the Orchid Oasis this um, teapot here. And then I stamped this branch in Garden Green and went ahead and die cut that. And then also the new Sweet Sorbet color. Um, I stamped that, the little uh, citrus uh, wedge here, um, and die cut that. Um, and then we can start um, putting this teacup together. So this would be another good example to use a little Q-tip for the glue. But it does not take much glue at all, just enough to kind of hold down the vellum. Okay, and then um, one really cool trick is I actually used a pair of scissors and cut along one of these uh, white lines here, and that I will split and kind of stick on the tea teacup, kind of like that. So after you've done that, flip it over and add some dimensionals, and you can actually add one to hold that. Um, little citrus wedge in place. Take off your dimensionals and then hold it right there and then you can actually go ahead and kind of place where you want your uh, green sprig um, coming out and it'll actually hold on to one of the dimensionals there and then add a little bit of glue to the back of your um, sprig there. And then I also took another one of the four by four inch, um, cut one of the four, uh, cut DSP by four by four um, for the insert here. And we'll just set that down like so. And then grab your Orchid Oasis here and the little word sweet in the stamp set and we are going to stamp that right above the teacup like so and then last but not least for this um, this will be one of the last things I do but I will add a little bit of the shimmery crystal effects on this um, citrus wedge and it adds a nice little pop but I'm gonna wait until I glue it in the book otherwise I'll have it sticking to the card so we'll wait on that but that's something um, that I will add to that in a few minutes but this is all for this one and then last but not least um, I have got this last one here so take a 
four by four inch piece of this DSP. Very, very pretty. Um, and then I took a one by three and a half inch um, piece of this DSP. Very, very cool lattice plaid. Anyways, um, and then I took four little teacups here. If I can locate all of them, they like to run away on me. Here we go. Found the last one. Anyways, and then you'll want to put dimensionals on all the backs of those. Um, and then I took some of the sweet sorbet um, baker's twine that's in the new in color pack. And we're going to wrap it around twice and then tie a just loose bow. Does not need to be perfect. Okay. And you can trim the edges if you like on your baker's twine if need be. So I will scoot that over just a smidge. there and then we will it's not quite totally in the center um, but just a little bit more into the center so we can fit our little teacups running down the edge here so I'll just add a little bit of glue on the back of that and add that like so and then one thing that I forgot to mention on the very last ones is we are going to corner around each of these and I should have done that before putting the teacups on there, but we can still we can still achieve this. So you'll do that to all four edges. And then also I forgot to do it to this one, so I'll go back and corner around the edges here. Okay, so now I'm going to clean, clean my space here just a tad bit. Now um, we have completely, oops, I forgot to do the very first one. Pull that corner rounder back out. <laughs> one more thing here. Okay, all right. I think we're good now. So we should have all of our inserts here. There should be five of them. So there's one for the front and then there's four inside little inserts. So I'll set these aside and I'll show you how to do the very base of the card and put that together. So you'll take your Simply Score and you'll need two pieces. So basically you can get this out of one sheet of cardstock. So that's amazing. Um, this is Orchid Oasis cardstock. This is one of the new in colors. Um, so one piece is four and a quarter by nine, and I'll start with that one. So you'll turn it long ways like this. I'll pull this down so you can see. Um, and you'll want to score at four and a quarter, and then also at eight and a half. So you'll set that aside. And then this piece is a tad bit different. It's four and a quarter by eight and a half. And all you'll need to do is score at four and a quarter. So once you've done that, I'll put up this Simply Score here out of the way. So fold your four and a quarter by eight and a half one in half here, essentially. You can also use a bone folder. Um, we will pull out the um, detailed trio punch for a corner rounder again. So go ahead and fold this. It does okay to punch two pieces at one time. So you go ahead and punch all four corners. So when you open it up, you should have your corners rounded. So for this next piece, you'll fold at the four and a quarter line and then also fold in on your little half inch strip here. So on the half inch strip, you'll go ahead and corner around that with the half inch folded in. And then just by itself, this outer edge here, you'll corner around. 
and then fold all your pieces together and you'll corner around the edge side, those two sides. Move all my pieces out of the way here. There you go. So you should have something that looks like this. So to put your card together, you will lay it like this, fold this half inch backwards around like so. So this is what it should look like. And then you're gonna bring in this piece right here that's just the eight and a half, the two squares like this, and it's gonna fit right on top of here like this. And this little half inch is gonna be, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. It's gonna go on like this. So lay everything flat, and then this piece is just gonna go right on top like so. So we have square, square, the half inch little connector, and then you've got square, square. So you're just gonna glue this straight on top there. So add a little bit of Tombow. And then lay this right on top, like so. Okay, and then you should be able to fold. Wait, I did this wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, there we go. I did have it right. That's correct. So it should be like that. So you lay it out flat glue this on top of here and then this should be your front so it should open 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 like so so now we can go to gluing our little squares that we've decorated so this one is the card front so go ahead and glue that down And then open it up, and our next one will be this one right here. So add some Tombow to that. Glue that inside. Our next one will be this Take Care of Yourself. And our next one will be this one. And our final will be this little card front. So there we have it, our little card book. Super cute and adorable. Um, I also have this little Valentine's that maybe I'll leave photos of but super cute also. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned lots, and I'll see you next time.